Hi, I'm Cass, and Lee is not here again because I still have a few months ago. Um, this is actually the day before my first day of classes, and I used to use like my I used to put my art supplies in my roommate's shelving unit. She gave me two of them out of five, which was very nice of her. Thank you, and um, so she moved out of this room and she took those with her so I don't have I didn't have any drawers until today I went to a shop I guess a store I mean and got some drawers and I am going to be showing you um organizing my art supplies and my books because I had to put my art supplies in my bookshelf they're like milk crates I'll show you in a second so let's get on with the video so these are the milk crates that I was talking about I used to have all of these books in both of them and we had a shelving unit right there but now we don't obviously because my roommate is gone as you can tell so we are going to be putting all of my art supplies in these drawers and I'm going to be putting the Bibles on top and that almost dead bamboo plant because I didn't water it for a month because I left and I didn't want to take it with me. I'm a bad plant mom, okay? So first what we are going to do is remove these two Bibles. Eh. Okay, removing two Bibles. And then we have some magazines here about animals. We have this little, um, like, Christian thing, because that's what I am. A third Bible. And now the rest of this is art supplies. This is a new sketchbook that I got for Christmas. And I love it so much. It's gorgeous. So this is going to go on the bottom because it's very big. And then here are some, uh, wa yeah, watercolor. So I've used these a little bit, not very much. But the packaging's a little damaged, as you can tell. And then here is my acrylic that my sister got me for last Christmas, I think. And I have some Studio 7 1. 71 oops uh markers i got these for my birthday a couple of years ago um because we can't afford copics i'm going to eventually buy them just because i want to see what they're like compared to these um i have a few in this marker box i have um on top of my uh dresser not dresser the shelving unit you can see it right next to the bamboo but so I also got this for Christmas, if I can grab it. They are uh, Faber Castell. I'm sorry, I'm bad with words. And they are like a fine lining set, pens and stuff. I have not used these le yet because it's just been 15 days after Christmas and I haven't been um, drawing a lot, but I'm planning on using those for outlines. And then now, ooh, I'm so excited to use these. I can't remember their name, but as you can tell, they're Asian. Um, but these are a nice set of watercolors. I'm so excited for these. And they have like a little thing for swatching on the back of the cover. And I am just so excited for those. So I'll probably be using those in a video soon. And now this is my box. It still has the tag on it of my pens and my pencils, erasers, stuff like that, that I use super, super frequently. So this is going to go on top for easy access. And then this is my Koi Travel, if I can open it. Koi, one second. My Koi Travel set of watercolors with a nice sponge. Oops, missed. Um, for, I think, uh, getting rid of the water on the brush stuff. And then it has this little brush pen that you can fill up with water. I really like these. I have some more at home, I think. But that's Koi. My Koi watercolors, and I already have three things of watercolors. And then I have this cute little notebook, not notebook, uh, sketchbook, watercolor um, sketchbook. I have not used it yet, so I'll probably be like making some 
packet art with that or something. I don't know, small art. So that's going to go right there. This is a mostly unused sketchbook. Uh, it has a couple of things in there. Dude, that shark. It's not very good, but yeah. So this is going to go uh, here. No, that doesn't look quite right. Let's put it up here because this hasn't been used yet. And I'm not going to use it because I have another sketchbook in here. And then this is my Refine, Raffin, I don't know, colored pencils. And I got these from the website Wish. Um, and they are amazing. I love them. And you can tell I haven't used them very much. But these are probably my second favorite watercolors. Watercolors? No. Colored pencils. I do have some watercolor pencils. But they're at home. Because I don't use them enough. So we're going to take those out for a sec. And then put those in like that. Stay. Pencils. Pens. Okay, well, whatever. So now I'm going to put these back in. And sorry for, like, the shaky uh, camera, the bad angles and stuff like that. I'm still getting used to using things one-handed. And then I have this watercolor, I think it is, sketchbook. I have not used this one either. I collect a lot of sketchbooks with planning on using them, but I haven't yet. And I really need to get better at cameraing. So there's that, and that's going to go up here because it's small. Then we have this cute little sketchbook. Um, another cute little sketchbook. B paper, it looks like. Haven't used this either. It's very stiff paper, not a lot of texture though. So this is probably, probably going to use this for like um, pencils and stuff. It says it's excellent for wet and dry media, so I'll see how watercolors hold up on that. And this, this is my almost done um, uh, sketchbook. So, let's see. I only have about this much left compared to this much used. So this is going to go on top underneath this for easy access again. And ooh, I got this um, a few years ago now, and it's a gorgeous sketchbook with like a tree on it and stuff. You can tell I like trees, can't you? And then this is going to go up here. And then I have this gray sketchbook for just if I need gray paper and stuff. So, cause that's useful for like getting a really nice watercolor thing. Watercolor? No. Realistic. And then this is um, a palette packs kind of pencil case. Um, and I highly suggest palette full packs, but it's not sponsored, you know, because we're new and, you know. But I have some general pencil, generals pencils in here. And then I have these tricolor pencils um, by uh, Czech Republican. I don't think that's right. <laughs> but So we're going to zip this back up and put this in here. So we have this mixed media thing and I've used this a little bit. This is for like watercolor and stuff. I haven't used it a lot though. Um, I don't use mixed media uh, sketchbooks a lot because I don't really use watercolor as much as I really should. And then this is my other mixed media thing that I started as well a while ago, but I think that's actually the only page in there. Oh no, there's that flower that's I was using Wish watercolor markers for this. I don't have them with me, but do not recommend, honestly. They're so bad. Like, you could see how, like, patchy that was, too. So, there we go. Back that way. Ah, yes. Now, on to my art books that I keep with my, um, art supplies. 
I, I love these so much. It's, it just really helps you see, like, 3D, realistic, realistic. It's just, it's, they're nice. I recommend them if you're looking for realistic art. But, uh, we need to put these underneath these. So, we're going to start with that angle. Difficult to do this one-handed. I don't know how other people do this. And I don't have a tripod for this, so like I can't really use both my hands, you know. And so I have this sketchbook that is absolutely gorgeous. I got this for my 16th birthday from one of my really good friends. Not Lee, but another one. And it's just, it's gorgeous. I haven't used it yet because I want, like, the art inside to live up to the cover. Which I know really isn't healthy for an uh, artist. So, yeah, there's that. And I'm probably doing the same thing with this sketchbook down here with the watercolor tree on it, you know. So I'm just gonna put this in there. Okay, so the next item is some more watercolor reeves. Um, don't know why I have two, but that's okay. So we're going to put these in here as well. And we have this really nice sketchbook that it doesn't have really anything on it. I haven't used it yet, but I just really like hardcover sketchbooks. So I'm going to put this with the other sketchbooks. So next up we have my Intos drawing tablet. And I'll probably do a little bit of animation and just kind of like drawings on my computer with this. If I can figure out how to film my computer screen without using a phone to just like film it, you know. So this is one of my favorite things that I ever got. I don't use it as much as I should because when I first downloaded the software, I ended up not downloading a part of the software I need for the pen to be stable, but now I have that since I had to hook it up to my new computer. So, yeah, I'm going to be using this a little bit more once I have time. Next up, we have these watercolors. So I, so far, have four things of watercolor, and these are kind of a little bit cheaper watercolors. They're kind of patchy, they're not the best, but I prefer pan watercolors over the tube watercolors, which is why I got these to begin with. Those, I think, were my very first watercolors. And then this is my first Prismacolors, it's 12, 12 pack, and then I have two 48 packs. Um, I got one of them um, on a Black Friday sale for myself, and the other one my sister got for me. So, and we are just going to be putting these in here. That's not going to close. Okay, give me a second, and I'll reorganize this and get them. So out. now these drawers are full, and that's empty. So now we can start working on the books. So, first off, we are going to set the Bibles up here because I want them to live up here with the other art. This is a study Bible and it's really heavy and I got it from my um, preacher's wife. She gave it to me. And then these are these magazines, uh, Ranger Rick, which are generally for children and I started them when I was about my mom got them for me when I was about 10 or 11. I just never told her to cancel the subscription, which I'm glad that she hasn't yet because I really do enjoy reading them, but they are kind of young for me, you know? But so now what we're going to do is set the milk crate up on its side and we, this is going to be the bottom one, and this is going to be the top one. And we are going to be putting it right behind that chair, as you can see there. So I'll be right back and get that set up. So I have this one set up, this one right here. So we are going to start transferring these books. And I'll probably tell you a little bit 
about each of them. So this is the Aragon series, one of my favorite series ever, honestly. Um, I read it when I was little and I brought it with me um, to kind of, um, I have a friend, actually an RA, we're not super good friends, but he mentioned that he read Aragon and he really, really loved it because I showed him a drawing of a dragon I did um, a while back and he said it um, made him, it reminded him of Aragon and he was like, I only read the first one, like, I really want to read the other two, or three, I mean, numbers, what are those? And so I mentioned, hey, I have the whole series because it's one of my favorite series. And I ended up um, telling him I'll bring them back over when I break for him to borrow. So that's Aragon. And then I have, this is a used uh, copy of the Lord of the Rings. Then this is um, a series I haven't read yet. Um, I don't remember what they're called. I can't really read them. Oh, I put them in upside down. That's why. Philip Pullman, His Dark Materials, Golden Compass, Subtle Knife, and Amber Spyglass. So those are um, something that I'm looking forward to. We have H2O about acid rain and the apocalypse and stuff. That was really good. Um, I already finished that. And then we have After On, which I'm still reading, as you can tell. It's not my favorite book, and it's a really slow book. And then we have No Safety in Numbers, which I finished. Don't know why there's a bookmark in there. This is actually a present I got from the same person who uh, gifted me that sketchbook I showed you with the map. Um, because that was the very first Pokemon game I ever played, so she um, uh, cross-stitched the last, like, rarest uh, words, Pokemon. And so, Wool, Rot, and Ruin, and Scourge. Scourge? Scourge. I have not read yet, either. So these are going to go in there. And then we have the Dinosaur Lords, which I have not read. A lot of these I haven't read. The Dragon Keeper. I, as you can tell, I really like, like, fantasy, dragons, sci-fi, and that one's bent a little. Why? Why? And then Railhead. Not quite sure what that's about. Uh, uh, yes. Autonomous. Autonomous, I mean. Um, that was a really good book, too. And we have the Emperor, Emperor's Blade right here, which I don't think I'm going to put in there because it's very tall, and I want to put some books up here. So we're just going to set that there. And, ooh, we have the very first book of the Game of Thrones because I was not able to watch the show. So I got the first book to see if I like it. And the bookstore I normally go to it has a really gorgeous set with a leather cover, leather cover. So I want to get those if I like these books. And here we have The Way of Shadows by Brent Weeks. So that's not going to fit. So we are going to put this back here. And we have The Hunt for Atlantis. Again, none of these are sponsored. I don't know how a book can sponsor you anyways, but... Yeah. And then next we have the Dragon Champion. Again, another dragon book. Ah, yes. The Skinner. That, I haven't read that yet either. And we have Skinwalker. Um, if any of you are Supernatural fans, you'll know what their definition of a skinwalker is. I'm not sure what that book's definition is. Ah, yes. Scary stories to tell in the dark. More scary stories to tell in the dark. And scary stories three. Scary story three. That is one of my favorite short story series, I guess it is called. That's just going to go up there. Uh, that bothers me. There's nothing I can do about it. Because all of these are uneven books. 
yeah. And then we have Classic Tales of Horror by Edgar Allan Poe, which is one of my favorite, um, like, older authors, you know? Um, I, The Telltale Heart is one of my favorite short stories by him. So now we have these left. Since this is full, we are going to be putting this on top of here now. So I'll be and right back. So we don't really need to reorganize this. So we are done with the art supplies and the books. So this has been Cass and I'll see you all later.